name is Gloria Hoffman and you are watching the Simply Fit Board Six Pack Challenge. Now this is a four week program designed to target the upper and lower abs and those obliques to tighten, tone, and slim that waistline like never before. Now, if you'd like to join us and follow along, go to our website at www.simplyfitboard.com today. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you the proper form to use when doing each of these moves so that you maximize your benefits in the least amount of time. Now, you don't have to use any weights if you don't want to. I recommend using a single dumbbell, either three or five pounds, a kettlebell, a can of soup, whatever you have laying around. So go ahead and grab whatever you have laying around and let's get started. Now we always start our workouts out with the basic twist. It's gonna warm up our muscles and I'm telling you, the basic twist in and of itself is gonna work every single muscle in your core at the same time. You're not gonna see the same results if you skip the basic twist, because that's really what's gonna work all of your ab muscles, get you warmed up, and get you ready to tone. So when I do it with just one dumbbell, I hold one hand on top of the other, my arms straight out in front of me. This one move, you're gonna feel it immediately in your upper abs and your obliques. You can hold the dumbbell one on each side and twist like this. Or if you're not using weights, just go ahead, keep your arms bent and twist and do your warm up and then we'll jump right into this. This move is called the standing jackknife. Now, this move is very subtle and very simple, but so effective at targeting those upper abs. And it's basically a standing crunch. Now, all you're gonna do is take your weight or take your hands, hold it together, put them above your head, and you're gonna simply crunch over, focusing on really contracting those upper abs. It's very subtle, you don't move much, but because you're balancing at the same time, you're getting an extra added bonus on, those core, on that core and those legs. So go ahead and put your weight above your head, breathe out and crunch over. That's it. But I'm telling you, you really feel it in those upper abs. And to start the challenge, you're gonna be doing 20 sets of those. It's gonna get harder as the month goes on. Now this move is called the plank. It is one of my favorite exercises because it works so many muscles in your body, including your entire core, your arms, your legs, your back. Now the key with this is to keep your shoulders directly above your wrist, to keep your feet out behind you and your body in a straight line. I'll show you exactly how that looks. I like to hold on to the handles because I have issues with my wrist and it just feels better to hold on to the handles of the board as I do my plank. But say, stay straight in a straight line, your shoulders directly above your wrist, your body in a parallel line. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the side. Feet shoulder width apart in a very, very straight line, L or shoulders above your wrists. And to start the challenge out, you're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. This move is called mountain climbers. It's once again gonna focus on your lower abs, that pooch that we like to get rid of. Now, mountain climbers, you're gonna start out in the basic plank position again, and then you basically are gonna look like you're running in place. You wanna keep your body as parallel as possible as you're doing this move. So I'll show you. Get in your plank position, and then you're gonna start running, trying to keep your back parallel in a straight line. Don't bounce too much as you do this move. And I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Get in your basic plank position and then start to run. You're almost dragging that foot as, as you run in place. Now, each step, if you will, counts as one rep. So you're gonna do 20 reps, three circuits of each very challenging it's gonna work up that heart rate so you're gonna be burning fat as well. But I'm telling you, you're gonna see tremendous results in that lower ab pooch section that we all wanna see results in. All right, this group is called Spider-Man Planks. Now this is gonna focus on your lower abs, your lower oblique abs, that V line that we all want. This one was kind of challenging, so start off slow, use proper form, even if you can't do as many reps as the challenge says, just start off where you're at, get the form down, and push yourself to do as many as you can. Now with the Spider-Man Planks, you're basically gonna look like Spider-Man crawling up a wall. You're gonna to wanna to keep that straight line plank as before. You're gonna lift your knee up to the side and get as close to the elbow as possible. And I'll show you how that looks. Get in your plank position, nice and tight. I'm gonna be able to bring my left leg up as close as I can to my elbow and back down. Right leg, back down, 
left leg back down. And I'll show you what this looks like from the side. Once again, get in your plank position. You're going to start with your right leg as close as you can to your elbow, left leg, right leg, left leg. And you're going to start out doing 10 reps per side. Repeat that circuit three times. Very challenging, but very effective. This move is called the wood chopper, and it's just like what it says. It looks like you're chopping wood. And basically, you're going to start with your arms up on one side of your head, simply cross over your body like you're chopping a piece of wood down to just below your hip on the other side. Now, when you're chopping left to right, keep your left hand on top of the dumbbell. So just like this. This is going to target your oblique muscles like crazy. You'll feel it on the first rep. Do 10 per side. Nice and steady. Now when you switch sides and you go from right to left, put your right hand on top. So start just like this. And do 10 on this side to start the challenge out with. As simple as that, but you're really targeting those oblique muscles. This move is the side crunch. Now, this is very simple, just what it says. You're crunching to your side. Hold your weight or your hand down on your right side. Put your opposite arm above and behind your head. And then you're simply going to bend over and come back straight. Now, try to get to your knee and then come back. And as you can tell, we have the added challenge of balancing at the same time. So you're gonna work those ab muscles even more. So bend to your knee, back up. Knee, back up. You're gonna to wanna to do 10 of these per side. Really work those oblique muscles. Thank you so much for joining the Simply Fit Board Six Pack Challenge. Now, I wanna say congratulations on taking that first step to getting rid of that dangerous, dangerous belly fat. But along the way, you're gonna be improving your balance, toning your legs, strengthening your arms, just improving your overall health in this challenge, and we're so passionate about that. If you'd like to join us and find out the details of each workout, go to www.simplyfitboard.com today.